not so scary Halloween party. This is the first time that we have come so hopefully I'm going to show you the shows, the parade, what you can do, the rides. We're going to try and get as much as we can done and try and be here till closing time which is 1am. So I've got the boys here with me, there's Taylor, Hello. Mr Stitch in the pram with his pumpkins on from Home Bargains which were 89p. Oh, Taylor's got the ghosts on. Save yourself some money, do that before you come. The boys have got their Halloween bags. I show you. You're going to show them what you've already got? You've got yours, haven't you, Freddie? You say trick or treat. treat. Yeah, and you've already got your first one, haven't you? Chocolate Which brownie. were chocolate brownie M&Ms. I want to eat them now. <laughs> we got a Jack Skellington. <laughs> And a Sally, I've got my skirt on. So yeah, we're gonna go and get on some rides, I think, before the night gets fully started, because we've come in at four o'clock and the party actually doesn't start or gets into full swing until about six. So we've got a couple of hours. Our bellies are full, we've had our dinner, so we're gonna just go around, try some snacks as well. So yeah, come and join us for a fun-filled evening. So to start off the evening, to get some air because it is very hot and humid. We're going on Big Thunder. It's only a 10 minute wait. It seems a little bit of a tradition at the moment every time we come to Magic Kingdom. Big Thunder seems to be almost a walk on, so why not take full advantage of it? And it starts off the night in a good way because it is a ride that we all enjoy. These clouds are looking very dark. It's adding to the uh, spookiness. See, was his arms going round and round and round, making it go faster. The party technically started 15 minutes ago. However, I don't think that was the overlay. It's still doing what it normally does on a normal day. There are a lot of cast members roping things off and asking you to show your uh, black wristbands that we all have when you're a part of the Halloween party. So I think they're still trying to get a lot of people out because we are noticing people walking around still without any wristbands on. Yeah, I don't know what the whole procedure is of getting people out of the park that aren't a part of the party. It just seems to be taking a lot of time, which is annoying on our behalf for the people that are paid to be part of the party that wants the privileges, privileges yeah, like the um, trick or treat stops and things like that. There's supposed to be one round here, so let's hope it's here and uh, we can do some trick-or-treating because technically the party started like 20 minutes ago and as of yet we've not been able to do anything. So I don't know how long it's going to take for us to be able to start doing the Halloween party things. Ready for a 30 second ride? Halloween thing, so we're going to go for the Queen of Hearts 
slushy. What's a frozen cherry slushy drizzled with black cherry puree with a mummy treat. What's a flaky pastry with chocolate filling. There's the Queen of Hearts slush. Looks quite cute. And the mummy. What do you think, Taylor? Very chocolatey. And I think that's white chocolate on top as well, isn't it? What do you think? I got that. Do you like it? Not very chocolatey. Oh. You didn't want to give it a go, did you? It's just a chocolate croissant. Look, you can have these two eyes if you want to. No? Okay. Oh, yeah, that's nice. It's not a snack. We managed to eat it. You didn't say that you didn't buy it. No, no, I was going to say. Really mm. refreshing. Mm. Tastes like a cherry coconut. Yeah, it reminds me of the cherry uh, icy that we had when we were at Universal. Yeah, definitely. It's probably the same. Yeah. Can we have a half? The crown. Well, then try the crown. It looks like. I, I think the crown is going to cost a million pounds. Oh. I don't know what it tastes that like. That looks like icing. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really taste of anything. That's icing. But I love it. But it's not even sweet like icing. Oh no, it's not. It's, um, Mo it's, it's like malt chocolate. 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 It's uh, like moulding chocolate, I think. Gonna try a bit of the mummy. mummy. Just a chocolate croissant. It's nice though. And it is chocolatey. No, I There's a lot of chocolate in there. Okay, we found our first trick or treat. So we've got to find the back of the queue to go and get our sweets. Oh my goodness. I was going to get in line, but the line is all the way down. It's quite a long queue. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Do you love it? Yeah. Should we go to find another one? Yeah. On our second hunt for sweets, aren't we, Jude? Yeah, look, look. It's in the Monsters Inc. laugh party. Happy Halloween. Trick or treat. If you want them, you can take them. Happy Halloween. I just can't give them to you. Happy Halloween. And then Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor is just jokes, so it's not the actual full attraction. We're gonna leave the trick or treating until a little bit later. I feel like it's just the start of the party. Loads of people are doing it, and the queues are ridiculous. So we're gonna leave that for now. We're gonna go and do some attractions, have a walk around, see what else we can find to do. Um, and there is a show on the stage in about Did you get it? 
tonight on All Hallows Eve, your world and the magical world collide for but one night. A night filled with a little trick, a little treat. Well done, Sarah. I knew I kept you around for a reason. Now, let's get this party started. We will need the spell for the Hocus Pocus Party Potion. The spell, sisters, hand me the spell. But if you wait, don't blame me. You can blame my friends on the calls forth again. So you come in, get your sweets, and then go out the other exit door, the other side. Oh. What do you say, Jude? Oh no! You got it. Untangle it. You got it the wrong way. Let go that one. Quick. There we go. Sorry. Hi. Oh. Ooh. Keep back. Here we go. That's okay. Look, it's there. Got it. <laughs> So Seven Dwarfs is saying 35 minutes, so we want to test it and see if it is 35 or if it's less and they're just trying to keep people away, but then even 35 minutes for Seven Dwarfs is a good wait time really. So I must say, from probably the start of the party, so say around 6 o'clock till now, it has felt very busy. I feel like it's actually more busy now than what it actually is on a normal Magic Kingdom day, which to me is ridiculous, especially when you're paying the extra amount to get in for a party. So I don't feel like they're capping the numbers like they used to. 
I don't know, but um, yeah, it is crazy busy. Don't know if you can see it, but 35 minutes it's saying. And it's 21.38. So let's see how long it actually takes us. So we've spent three minutes walking. We are now up by the gems where you can touch all the gems and do all the interactive things out here. We haven't yet met the end of the queue. It is 9.43 and we are going into the vault. <laughs> and as you can see the queue is just constantly moving. And the platform is just over there. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. There was a few technical issues, but we're finally getting on. We're gonna head on to Winnie the Pooh. It's only a five minute wait. Come on in. Hey, you're Winnie the Pooh's house! And again, another walk on. But yeah, all the activities in this queue line are brilliant. Maybe you you will never reach that dream. Oh dear, hang on tightly, Make them feel good. <laughs> so we're currently just sitting behind the castle. We unfortunately missed the display. I can't believe we done it um, at quarter past ten. We were just back here. I had a headache and I was like, I'm gonna get some water to take some paracetamol. And then the fireworks started and I was like, damn, so we missed that. But um, we caught the fireworks from behind what was actually quite nice. But what we're waiting for now is for them to open back up the barriers so that we can walk over towards Fantasyland. And because of all the fireworks, they do shut it all off. But it's taking a little longer than we were expecting. Um, and we want to make sure that we are on Main Street for the parade because we don't want to miss that because that's the last one. So that's at quarter past 11 and it's now quarter two. So literally, probably by the time that they let us through, we then need to head to Main Street to watch the parade. Probably try and do a few more rides in between then and closing time. <laughs> Thank you. 
How long that lasts for, I don't know, but we're going to try and get a few more treats here at Country Bear Jamboree and then I think head to Pirates because they've got live actors in there, that's something special for the Halloween so we want to try and get to do that, but we don't want to obviously get stuck in the park when it's going to suddenly pour down so luckily we have our Max on us but yeah we're just going to head in here get some uh, candy and then head to Pirates and fingers crossed it either stops well hopefully it stops I don't know why I said either it stops because we want it to stop raining Ready with your bag, Jude? What are you going to say? More candy, Jude! I say trickle treats, they're my baby. That's what she said to you, and you didn't see the rest of the rhyme. Give me something good to me. Happy Halloween! Only treats for sweeties like you! Let's see what this uh, live actor, live this actor is. or the Halloween overlay, overlay whatever they want to call it, is. And we're back. We have four bags of sweets. We would have had five, but Mrs. B didn't use her one. To which we are now going to tip them all out. Right, we don't need to tip them all out because we can see what one bag holds. That's one bag. <laughs> so should we fill it up with two bags? <laughs> Not one bag. <laughs> Followed by three bags. Followed by Four bags. <coughs> I think we've got a little bit of chocolate there. We've definitely got candy. That's for sure. And an empty one. That was the one must have had. No. <laughs> so, there we go. I'll swag for the night. <laughs> <laughs> 